What's the best thing to do when a major snowstorm hits northern England? Go test your four-wheel drive, right? Major incident. Only travel if absolutely necessary. Stay away from the area. Parts of the region being stranded. Dozens of abandoned cars. What? Weather won't stop, stop us from our goal of finding the most beautiful mountains in England. <laughs> Even if that means living out the back of our Jeep, sleeping in the freezing weather. It's so cold risking getting stuck with no proper overlanding gear to save us. And I would not choose to go on this road. A terrible, stupid idea. This is the cheapest but most budget overlanding setup you could do. Yes, we are unprepared, but we always have the audacity to adventure on an extreme budget. Because it's the journey that's the point, and everything else is just a nice surprise. The Lake District is not only England's largest national park, it's also home to England's highest mountain and deepest lake. I have to check it out before I leave. Good morning. Welcome. It's Victoria Rose here. And I just, for the first time, camped in the snow. Well, kind of, in the car in the snow. It is cold. <laughs> Last time we get, got in around like 10 or 11 or something. coldest weather that I've slept in the back of the car in and it was fine the weather wasn't really even the problem it was more just so cramped we drove around six hours to get up to Lake District in England this is very close to the border with Scotland and I'm very tempted to want to just you know <laughs> drive into Scotland but that would be to have to get a tattoo and I just don't have the money or time I don't know but uh, yeah it was cold it is cold and everything is so much harder to do with the cold, but we're doing it. We are doing it and um, going to be camping in the car for the next couple days in the freezing weather, and it is freezing. Well, right now it's three degrees, but last night it was zero degrees, so I was so pleased whenever we just came into snow all of a sudden. It was rain, 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 and then snow. I made pumpkin bread to, with, to have in the morning with the coffee. Pumpkin bread with the coffee great combo and I gotta finish this wasting gas and gas is so incredibly expensive here I cannot explain how expensive it is just put on a little concealer thermals and then put clothes on top of that I know my thumbnails are deceiving but Nobody likes to see people freezing in the cold. This is the cheapest but most budget overlanding setup you could do. One string light and then just a bunch of blankets in the back. But you can do it. Yeah, Mud Central. Look at that. This is a bad idea. <gasps> okay, so I'll stay calm. <gasps> I have nothing to say. Just still in panic right now. Obviously, you're not supposed to be up here driving these roads right now. Like it's on the news, you know. None of these are plowed in any way, shape, or form. I have to say, I do have another person here with me, and I would not choose to go on this road on my own. I would think it would be a terrible, stupid idea. <laughs> but, um, 
it's quite exciting on the news like don't go here and we're like hey let's climb up the mountain not only go there but climb up the mountain we made it we made it to the hilltop the first one we went to was closed off but this one wasn't it is hard to navigate through all this snow. I'm not used to it. It's been a while since I've seen snow, like a year. This is really pretty. So we got a tea cake and tea, um, English breakfast tea, and then I'm going to try brown sauce because it's this thing here and I've never tried it, although I don't know if it goes on tea cake or not. It just looks like bread. Is it the end pieces of bread? No, <laughs> It's only like um, 6, no, 5.30, but it's time for bed because it's cold and there's nothing else to do. It's been a short day because it gets dark really early. Obviously, it's winter time. We went to a pub to hang out and had some soup, which was really nice. Beautiful view, so I'm really looking forward to seeing it in the morning. Right now, it is raining and miserable outside. We're going to try to go to sleep incredibly early, like 6 o'clock. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Yeah, last night was not good sleep. Just It's just really, really cramped in here. <laughs> It's not glamorous, but it's doable. And Northern England up here is really nice. It's very quaint, cute, even in the snow. And people seem friendlier as well. It's really nice, I like it. I like it much better than Brighton. All right, time to go to bed. I'll see you in the morning. Hopefully it stops raining. I don't know why, but tonight seems so much colder than the other night. It's so cold. It's hard to sleep. It's been blustering and raining the entire night, so all the snow is probably melted, but it's just been freezing because it's really windy up here. <sighs> Good morning. I'm progressively getting grosser and grosser as time goes on. Uh, Night number two was terrible. It was worse than night number one. So uh, it's freezing, but because I didn't, and I didn't think of it, because we parked on this like mountain top or hilltop here, it was very windy the entire night. So it was like extra cold, even though the temperature wasn't as cold as it was the previous night. It rained the entire night. The snow got all melted outside, but it was just so cold. And just, I've, it's just very cramped in here too. Like my old body hurts. So I'm not complaining, it's just the reality. Winter camping without the proper preparation or like without proper 
things. You can only do it for so long. Like, it's hard. Everything's hard. It's hard to even just like film things because it's been raining most of this trip, but that's to be expected. The views outside right now are beautiful with the snow melted. It gives a lot more variety of colors and land and stuff. So hopefully it won't rain the whole day today like it did yesterday. Gorgeous. Like it is very cold, very, 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 very windy and very cold. But it is beautiful up here. I can't, like, this is probably so amazing in the warmer months. I envision this is what Scotland looks like. And I'm sad that I'm not going to go to Scotland this time around. But this is just as good. I mean, whoever recommended the Lake District area, good recommendation. Just being out here with lots of land again and in the mountains, it just feels phenomenal. Hill. Finally getting in a nice hike after being cramped up in the Jeep. It's so beautiful out here. It's like it's like a fairy tale. And I never really thought of England as this super nature scenic type of place, but coming up north has changed my perspective of that. It is absolutely gorgeous. This is like the Lake Tahoe of England or Seven or and it's oh, so beautiful and mountainous and you don't get that in southern England. So it's really good to go on a hike since we are so cramped up in the Jeep. This is a good hike. Let's go all the way up the hill. <laughs> we made it to the top and it is gorgeous. It is unbelievably beautiful. Like you would like I would never imagine this to be England. I'm just so surprised it's so beautiful. <laughs> and the people here around this town and stuff are so nice and pleasant. It's such a good vibeage place. Not like hating on like London and Brighton and stuff, but I kind of am. If I were to live in England, I would want to live somewhere more like this with like this beauty. Absolutely stunning. Also, it's very English. I thought it was funny. It's posh baked beans. Um, it's like a survival meal or whatever. Okay, so I'm going to let that boil. In the meantime, we're going to open this up and see what's in here. It's been a cool day, but the hike up there was much, much needed. Needed that movement. I'm so tired. I haven't slept for days. We also have we went to a bakery. But it's, it's tart. This is gonna be really hot. I don't know if this is enough water. I'm really good at guessing. Okay. All right, stirred. Now we let it sit for 15 minutes. The microphone is the bane of my existence. Anyways, that is, we're waiting for that to be done. I'm gonna try out this tart. I love um, tarts, custards. I've eaten way too much bread on this trip. All I've been eating is bread. Let's open this up and see what posh, not just baked beans, posh. This looks like dog food, but I bet it tastes phenomenal. Look at that. That looks appetizing. It smells great. That's good. 
It's sweet. Beans on bread. Really good. It was really nice to escape Brighton for a bit and cold camp for the first time. Although I have to say, I don't know how much cold camping in the car I could do. It's not easy. <laughs> it's really, really cold. And I would definitely need to be better prepared next time. I have a heated blanket and a power station in Yuki back home. So I might try it again with that. But um, yeah, we survived, but it was... It was a challenge, but we saw so many beautiful things um, today and yesterday. It's been really great. And I hope you'll join me on the next video. And I'm going to end this one here. Sticks are terrestrial. I'll see you in the next adventure. Bye. Now try my beans.